Chapter 215, Beijianzan's Three Swords, 1. Due to Beijianzan blocking the path, it suddenly brought a big crowd, especially the younger cultivators. They were excited and secretly glad to see Li Kai mess with such a death goddess. Recently, Li Kai's name became too well known. Not only did he humiliate Dao Chao Shengshen, but he also slayed him. He provoked the Azure mysterious ancient kingdom so, all of a sudden, his fame was thunderous with a presence comparable to any young genius. How could the great Saxon countries not be annoyed by this? At this moment, Saint Child Baju, Young King Nanshan, and Princess Zayu say, all the famous geniuses in the Grand Middle Territory were all clamoring to watch in the distance. The descendant of the Sword God Sacred Ground found someone to compete with in Sword Arts. Seeing Beijians and blocking the way, a person murmured, in just a second, many people were whispering because recently, Beijians had been finding people to test her sword, no matter if it was an ancient saint of the last generation or a young genius, as long as they had some achievement on the Sword Dao, she would go to their doors. As for the geniuses who didn't cultivate the Sword Dao, she wouldn't even give them a glance. Beijianzin was indeed worthy of being the descendant of the Sword God. Her sword Dao was invincible and had a merciless offensive style. The majority of her opponents were always wounded or even died under her sword. Very few people could escape unscathed from her terrifying black sword. Li Kai narrowed his eyes at the Bei Jianzen who was blocking their path. He was all smiles as he said. There is a really good proverb. A good dog does not block the way. I don't care if you are giant character or a descendant of whatever. Roll to the sun instead of blocking my path. Li Kai's rude words silenced many of the nearby spectators. This little brat was truly a little devil. He was always arrogant no matter who he was speaking to. Bei Jianzen was the sword god's descendant but she herself was even more terrifying. A goddess of death whose hands were stained with blood, an emotionless sword along with a merciless offensive style that would make all spectators speak to her with respect for fear of provocation. However, this brat's first words immediately offended Bei Jianzin. Be more of a gentleman. Your words are too vulgar. Chen Bei Jiao gently scolded Li Kai with an enchanting charm. As for Bei Jianzin, she didn't have the slightest bit of reaction. Icy as a sword and cold as steel, like an unsheathed sword with a chilling murderous intent, she had the intention of devouring humans. She looked at Li Kai as if he was a dead man. Not knowing that she resembled one herself, take out your sword. Bei Jianzin coldly said. Her initially pleasant sounding voice was now as cold as a heartless ice that entered the hearts of others, causing them to shiver. Her beautiful jade like eyes chillingly glared at Li Kai as she mercilessly spoke, I will let you pass if you can block three of my swords. Li Kai glanced over towards her and replied, If I take out my sword when you tell me to, isn't this a loss of face? Who the hell are you? Why would I want to take out my sword? Don't you consider yourself invincible? So, today, you suddenly don't dare to fight? Is it because of your lacking abilities? At this time, Young King Nanshan, who was observing on the sidelines, sneered and slowly urged. The atmosphere became strange as everyone nearby heard what he said while giving him a glance. Young King Nanshan was handsome and elegant with a pressing aura. He originated from a royal family and was truly the proud son of the heavens. Even though he was not as famous as Dao Chao Shengshen, he was still renowned within the Grand Middle Territory. The noteworthy part was the rumors that stated that he was a natural-born saint wheel and cultivated in emperor law, resulting in a terrifying battle prowess. With Young King Nanshan fanning the fire to the side, Li Kai glared at him and said, whether I do anything or not has nothing to do with you. Come out here, if you dare, and see if your father will make mincemeat out of you or not. Just like how I killed Nanshan Hao. If other people respect him, he would respect them back ten times over. This was the style of Li Kai. Young King Nanshan dared to provoke him. So he did not give him any face and immediately fired back. Young King Nanshan was already antagonistic towards Li Kai so after hearing those words, his face immediately turned cold. He stepped forward with a vast presence and an endless blood energy while murderously glaring at Li Kai. Then he said, if you wish to die, then I will help you. He is mine. Bei Jianzin's emotionless demeanor, like the frost, did not even give someone like young King Nanshan any respect. She essentially didn't even glance at him. Fine, since Goddess Bei wants to kill this brat, I will not compete with you. Young King Nanshan was dreary of her frosty murderous intent and stopped in his path. However, his chilling lair still grasped onto Li Kai, take out your sword. Bei Jianzin's sharp gaze and still chills into others. Such a pretty girl yet she, time and time again, made others fearful of her daunting murderous intent. If you want to test your sword, there are no need for our young noble to personally make a move. I will be enough. Li Xiuangin accepted the fight with a domineering attitude. Li Xiuangin accepting the challenge caused many people to be alarmed. No one dared to look down on Li Xiuangin. She was a five palace royal noble, a grand Dao noble. This was a heaven's proud daughter with the qualifications to command the heroes of this world. However, Bei Jianzin didn't look at Li Xiuangin. She simply answered with a cold voice, I am not interested in her sword formation. Without a doubt, Bei Jianzin specifically came for Li Kai. That day inside ancient Sky City. Li Kai's devastating sword of the emotionless style against Ji Kong Ji and made Bei Jianzin and consider him as her next opponent. This was not anything strange. The sword god Sacred Ground focused on the sword as the main path. Their progenitor, immortal Emperor Yi Ti, used the sword to prove his Dao and used murder to prove his invincibility. Bei Jianzin was the descendant of the Sacred Ground and had trained with the supreme murderous sword heart since a young age. Once she noticed a mighty sword cultivator, she would not be able to hold back. You want to compete against my trinity sword art? Li Kai leisurely stared at Bei Jianzin and continued on. I have never accepted your immortal Emperor Yi Ti's Dao with a murderous sword. Your sacred ground's murderous sword Dao might be invincible, but in my eyes, it isn't any immortal art of the Dao. This brat is crazy. He even dares to make presumptuous comments about the Dao of an immortal emperor. A person quickly murmured, 
Another young genius sneered with disdain. He's only an ignorant brat who doesn't know the vastness of the sky and the range of the earth. An immortal emperor's Tao, this isn't something that he can comment on. Trinity Sword Art. Bay Giants and glared at Li Kai after hearing the name. Her eyes immediately exuded sword intent as glint after glint of blades appeared. She was performing a supreme sword Tao and, in just a flash, there was a sword move of a genius that existed in her eyes. A sword of the heavenly Tao. A sure kill sword, using her eyes to perform the Tao. Seeing Bei Jianzen's situation, everyone became astonished. She had not seen Li Kai's complete swordplay, yet she was able to envision his sword Tao after just hearing its name. This person was truly frightening. It was as if her eyes were able to deduce all the sword Tao in this heaven and earth, seeing such a scene within her beautiful eyes. No matter whether it was Saint Child Baju or Young King Nanshan, they couldn't help but become alarmed. It was absolutely courting death to compete with Bei Jianzen on a path of the sword. Impressive. Seeing the Tao in her eyes, even the always arrogant Li Kai had to praise her as he nodded his head approvingly. No wonder why the old monsters of the sacred ground picked you as the descendant. You were born for the Tao of the sword. Unsheath your sword. Bei Jianzen emotionlessly spoke, three swords will do. Her heart could not wait any longer for she wanted to witness Li Kai's entire trinity swords. Regarding his own trinity sword art, Li Kai was completely confident. This was not his first time being enlightened in the Tao, and this sword art was not something he created either. It came from the supreme Tao of the six Tao Lotus along with the evil Taifa tree. It was such an incomprehensible sword art that even he would place it in the top ten sword arts of this world once he becomes an immortal emperor. Li Kai narrowed his eyes while looking at Bei Jai Anzen. Then he calmly said, I am not very interested in a duel. I only kill my enemies. However, you and I have no grievances with each other. Therefore, I am not very interested in killing you today. Ha ha. It sounds like you are certain of defeating Goddess Bei. Young King Nanshan, standing at the side, sneered and said, Regarding the sword, no one can compete with Goddess Bei, even though this statement was quite debatable. Many people secretly agreed in their minds for the murderous sword of Bei Jianzen was indeed terrifying. It's none of your business. Li Kai glared at him and asserted, When I, a grand character, am speaking, do not interrupt on the sidelines. Don't bother people by gossiping all day. Li Kai's words resulted in young King Nanshan quaking with anger. His pale face glared at Li Kai and coldly spat out, Brat, your end is near yet you are still blustering. Li Kai ignored him. Then he looked at Bei Jianzen and calmly smiled. Since your sacred ground is so confident with your sword now, fine, I will play with you this time. However, I have one condition. What if you lose? The sharp glare of Bei Jians and pierced straight through Li Kai. Her cold stare resembled cold steel, causing others to be stung with pain. Many were afraid to look straight at her eyes. She chilling proclaimed, You will lose. You have enough confidence. I like it. Li Kai burst out in laughter and met her sharp gaze. Then he spoke in an unruffled manner. How about this? If my Tao is lacking and I am killed by you, I have nothing to say. If you lose, then just submit to me. Coincidentally, I am missing a maid by my side to warm my bed, even though you are as cold as a block of ice. But out of consideration for your natural born sword Tao, I will reluctantly take you in as a maid to warm my bed. Li Kai finished in his never-changing nonchalant manner. He made it sound as if it was a trivial matter, as if Bei Jianzen was a daughter from a common household and that he would take her in as a bed-warming maid on his whim. Naturally, this immediately rendered everyone speechless. Bei Jianzen was the descendant of the sword god on top of being a cultivating genius. Her cultivation alone was plenty formidable enough. However, this little demon before them opened his mouth and immediately wanted her as a maid to warm his bed. This was too insane. 